Hey, how's it on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix input lag in Fragpunk. I hope this guide helps you out. So make sure to stick around until the end of this video. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best Windows settings and for that you have to head down to settings on your PC and then go down to gaming. Head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. Game bar is an overlay service which keeps on running a process on top of your game which is highly resource consuming and disabling that will help you to fix that and also help you to reduce your input latency. Then head down to graphic settings over here and then you'll find something called optimizations for windowed games which you want to turn on because it will help you to reduce your latency and using advanced features by compatible games. Then head down to advanced graphic settings over here and enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. It will help you render all of the graphic details using your GPU which will help you to optimize your FPS. Step number two is the mouse settings and for that simply search for mouse settings over here and then click on it. Once you are here scroll a bit down until you find additional mouse settings. Once the mouse property is open in front of you, head over to the pointer options and then for motion you wanna have to set it to the 6th tick from the beginning. So that should be 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th and 6th. If it is not here, slide it over here. And if this is the first time that you are seeing this option, it might be a possible that enhanced pointer precision is turned on your PC. What you guys have to do is turn this thing off and then click on apply. It will disable any kind of artificial drag on your mouse, especially if you are on a laptop. If you use a trackpad, this will reduce all of the drag of your trackpad and make the movements one to one that means the amount of drag you put on the trackpad or your mouse it will be as it is on the screen once you're done with that click on ok but before we move ahead i want to introduce you guys to this video sponsor ease us voice wave it's a real-time AI voice changer for gaming, online chat, streaming, and a lot more, which you guys can download for free from the link in the description below. Once you open up this application, it has a very simple interface with a ton of voices, sound effects, and a lot of other cool features. The best part about this software is the AI feature where you guys can simply switch to any voice. I personally like young girl because it sounds perfect. And here I have selected the volume and the pitch to make it sound more filtered and accurate. Here is how I sound like as a young girl. Once again, I use this quite a lot while gaming or pranking my friends. It works perfectly. You guys can simply select your microphone and your headphone and then you can enable AI smooth mode. If you want your voices to be more smoother, you can add key binds and a lot of other cool stuff. And they have over 300 voices to choose from including famous celebrities, game characters and a lot more. I would recommend you guys to go check out Isis Voice Wave for free from the link in the description below. Next step is device manager and for that simply head over to device manager on your PC and once you are here you'll find something called system devices simply click on that and then scroll a bit down until you find composite bus enumerator. You wanna have to right click on it and disable this device simply click on yes. Next you'll find something called high precision event timer simply right click on that and then click on disable device over here as well click on yes. Other than that you can find two more options over here one of which is numeric data process and the second one is SM bus controller. Both of them are not available on my PC but if they are available on your PC you have to disable them as well. You can fix a lot of your input delay with this as well. Then you wanna have to scroll down and find the universal serial bus controllers. Right over here you will find generic USB hubs. These are the hubs that are attached to your PC or they are in the motherboard. What you have to do is right click on them, head over to the properties, then power management and then uncheck the first option that is allow this computer to turn off this device to save power. Click on OK. Do the same for all of these because it will disable all kind of power saving features on your hardware and this will help you to fix input latency because many times your PC turns off the devices to save power and this could result in unstable inputs. Head over to the properties, power management and uncheck them on all of the USB hubs. Once all of that is done, you can simply close it. Next step is indexer options and for that simply search for indexing options over here and then click on the advanced tab. You'll find something called delete and rebuild index. Simply click on rebuild then click on ok. It might take a while so you wanna have to leave your PC up for 5 to 10 minutes and then restart it once. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and right over here select your local disk C, click on create and name it input latency just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. The next step is the Fragpunk input delay fix pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You'll find four very useful 
folders over here. Let us start with the first one that is Windows Important Tweaks. This offers you to disable unnecessary services, background applications, power throttling and disabling transparency effects on your PC. All four of these options are really important to reduce your input delay. What you guys have to do is simply double click on every single one of them over here and then it should be done. If you want to revert any of them back again, head over to the revert folder and then you guys can revert it back again over here. Second folder is the Fragpunk optimization in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. For this, I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Third folder over here is the input latency fix which is the most important folder of this file. Right over here, you'll find in keyboard latency fix. Simply open it up and you'll find in five keyboard buffers. These buffers will help you to set up the correct D word values according to your hardware to optimize the input. For this, I would recommend you guys to leave your keyboard specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which buffer you need to choose right over here. Next is the mouse latency which will help you to fix the mouse curve. Simply double click to apply this registry and if you edit it in notepad, you guys can see it will help you to fix the mouse sensitivity and the X and Y curve of your mouse. These are the perfect curves for gaming and these are the pro choices. So what you have to do is simply double click to apply this registry. Once that is done, fourth one is an optional folder over here which is the power plan settings in which I have left ultimate performance power plan. To run it, you have to right click on it as administrator and it will run a PowerShell command on your PC automatically. To apply it, what you have to do is right click on it as administrator. Then click on more info and then click on run anyway. This will apply the power plan scheme on your PC. Simply press any key to continue. Next step is in the power plan settings, head over to that and right over here, you'll find ultimate performance power plan added to your PC. Simply select that and then you have to close this and that should be it. It will apply the best power consumption policies for your PC and help you to disable all kind of power saving features which will allow you to improve your performance and extend your limits. Be sure that if you are on a laptop, this might cause overheating issues. Once you're done with that, the next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows. So simply search for it and you'll find it in the settings button over here. What you have to do is select adjust for best performance and then over here you have to select save as for thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. This will help you to keep the basic look of your windows intact while disabling all unwanted animations on your PC. This simple setting alone will help you to get better windows performance and lower input latency. Once that is done click on the apply button then you have to click on the ok button now once all of that is done you have to restart your pc once and then drop into the game and check if that helped you so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to leave a like and smash your subscribe button you are really close to 250,000 subscribers and i trust you all we have to reach it by the end of this year we'll see you all in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out